Okay, so today <clears throat> I'm going to be doing a mini Ulta haul. Um, literally mini, like I only got four things, but then um, I also got like the free um, gift when you spend like I think $20 in Ulta products, so that's why I basically um, got a few Ulta things and then I think two more things that aren't from Ulta. Like the Ulta brand, I don't know, but let me just stop rambling and get right into it. Um, so the first thing I got was this blush brush, and um, I didn't get it for blush. I got it to like set my under eye powder because I don't know. I just feel like I need a different brush to set my under eyes with. So we'll see how I like it. I already used it today, if you can tell, but I mean it's nice and soft and it's really nice, but. I don't know, I'm thinking about going and getting the Real Technique, Real Techniques um, brush. I think it might be their blush brush too, or their powder brush, I don't know. So yeah, I got that, and then <clears throat> next I got uh, another Ulta brush, just because I felt like I needed another um, eyeshadow brush, so I got the crease brush. And by the way, this is $16, I think, and this was between like 10 and 12 dollars i believe i don't know i don't i have my receipt right here what am i doing it was 10 dollars so i got that it's just a crease brush it's nice and fluffy i've been wanting um kind of like a crease slash blending blending brush like this for a while if i can get it out so i can show you guys um but yeah, it just looks like that, and I really like the shape of all the Ulta brushes. I like that they all look the same, you know? So, like, if I wanted to buy, like, all their brushes, not all my brushes would look the same, and it wouldn't look like a whole mess. But yeah, it's just really, like, small crease brush, and feels really nice. So, I'm excited to try that out. Because, <clears throat> like I said in one of my recent videos, I do not own a lot of brushes, so it's nice to, like, just go out and buy, um new brushes or more brushes I should say um next I got the is it called makeup revolution yeah makeup revolution um iconic three palette and I'm sure you guys have seen this before sorry for that glare I'm sure you guys have seen this before um it's just like a basically a dupe for the naked three palette and it's really beautiful all of these shades um and a like a couple months ago, I had sold my Naked 3 palette, and I still regret it to this day, but back then, <clears throat> I know it was only a couple months ago, but I was really not into makeup like I am now, so I can't, like, really test it out, but I'm sure if you guys search on YouTube, like, videos of, like, reviews on this, and if it really is, like, a dupe for it, you guys will find one, but I'm going to be doing a tutorial with this soon, so be watching out for that. And that was, I believe, $7? Yeah, $7. So, $7, like $54. I mean, you might as well buy the Revolution palette. Um, and then the last thing I got was another Makeup Revolution thing. And it is the um, Vivid Baked Highlighter in Peach Lights. Um, <clears throat> it is a very pretty highlighter, but it's so subtle. Like, it don't get me wrong it's very beautiful but it's just like so subtle um and I like a super intense highlight so I went and paired it with another highlighter that I will show you guys in a couple minutes but yeah it's very nice and how much was it? it was only six dollars so for six dollars you can't really complain about a highlighter it is really good though I don't really have any complaints about it it's just I like a super intense highlight so I had to pair it with another one but it is really beautiful <clears throat> okay so like I said at the beginning of the video um when you spend I'm pretty sure it said $19 and like 20 cents $19.50 cents, basically $20 in Ulta products you get this free bag um it comes with 14 things so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys that really quick um, first off, you get this $5 off, um, any Ulta Beauty brand cosmetic or brush purchase of $10 or more, but it doesn't start till next month, so I'm definitely going to use that. Um, next we have this Ulta blush and highlighter duo kind of thing, and it's 
Um, the blush is called Apricot and the highlighter is called Yellow Diamond. And this is the highlighter I paired with the other one and it, it's pretty nice. I really do like it. And I did use the blush too. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I really do like it. It's very beautiful and honestly all these products that are in this bag are super good for only having to spend $20 in products. I know that may seem like a lot, but that $20 and then plus this 14 piece set and they're all really good products. Um, you can't really beat that. So next, um, <clears throat> I got this little Ulta palette that came in there. It's just like these six eyeshadows. They're really beautiful, very spring colors. Um, if you guys want me to do a tutorial on that, like this video or just let me know in the comments down below because I will definitely do that. Or I can do like a like um, video on like Ulta makeup, you know what I mean? That came in this bag, so just let me know what you guys want to see. They're all very beautiful. Um, and I will swatch that for you guys. And let me just swatch it right now. Um, just show you a couple of the colors. Okay, so this one is Give Me Gold. So that one's really pretty. I hope you guys can see that. Um, my camera doesn't like automatically focus, so I have to hold it back here. But that's Give Me Gold. This one is, oh my god, I'm going to butcher this so much. Buy, buy you? I don't know. It's a pretty blue color. And then this one is Moonbeam. Um, I feel like it's coming up kind of silver on camera, but it's really actually that blue right there. But, oh, I must just dropped all the stuff. But in all, it's a really good little palette for spring, definitely. Um, next is this brow pencil. And it is really nice. I used it for like the outer part of my brow, just for it to be a little bit darker than like, you know, the inner part of my brow. But it's really nice. It's just like a basic brow pencil. Now I have this little nail polish in Lilac and You. It's a very pretty, you know, lilac color. I <laughs> like the name. Um, it's very nice. Um, I don't usually like paint my nails just because I go and get um, gel nails done, but I could definitely use this on my toes in the springtime, so that's not really a problem. Next is this Voluptuous Volume mascara and it is amazing. I don't know if you guys can tell but I did my mascara with this and then paired with the Lash Sensational just because if you watch any of my other videos you know that I use a crap ton of mascara but I really do like it. I used it for like my first layer and then my last layer of mascara and I was like I could literally use this by itself and it would still be amazing. So I was really happy about that. <clears throat> um, Flawless Prime. I don't know if this is an eyeshadow primer or like a face primer. I'll let you guys know probably down below somewhere. But um, I'm really excited to try this out. Um, I haven't used it yet, but I definitely will. Maybe if I do a tutorial on like all to make up using all this stuff, I will do that. Next is this eye makeup remover. It comes with 15 pads. And don't get me wrong, these are actually really good with removing eye makeup, but... I'll show you guys how small they are. They're like pretty small. Like they, they don't even fill up like up there. Like they're they're pretty small. And like yesterday I used them and I had that orange bronzy smoky eye that I did a video on. And it just was like too small to get off my makeup. Like I would have had to use all of them. So I just went back in with my Neutrogena makeup removers and used that. But they are really good. Um... If you want a good eye makeup remover, I would go buy these. I'm pretty sure they probably come in, like, a bigger thing than just 15. So, I do recommend this. Um, next is this Ulta Duo, Duo, Dual Ended Liner. And it just comes with one that's, like, black brown and then one that's... It's called Halo, but it's white, basically. So, it's just a regular basic, you know, eye pencil, but it's full size. So, like I said, a lot of these things are full size. Or they're pretty good sizes. Like, I know the highlighter and blush will last me a while because, I mean, you can't really run out of those really quickly, I feel like, unless you use the same one every day. Next, I was kind of disappointed with these just because they remind me of, like, the brushes that are in, like, those gift sets at Walmart. 
that I've bought before and I just threw them away like I didn't like them. They're just like mini brushes. This one is a small eyeshadow brush, a large eyeshadow brush, and then the blush brush. And this blush brush is different from the regular Ulta brush, so I thought that that was pretty weird. And then I already have the small eyeshadow brush, and it's way different from this one too, so was a little bit disappointed about that, but I'm sure like when I start doing, you know, other people's makeup, these will be great for, you know, taking with me. Okay, so my last two products are lip products, and one of them is just, I believe, a regular lipstick, and then this one is a matte lip cream, and I'm really excited about this. It's so beautiful. Um, the matte lip cream is in the color Elusive, and it's just this, like, really pretty dark purple color, which I thought was pretty weird, just because, um, you know, this is kind of like a springtime bag, so to see a dark purple is pretty odd to me, but... I mean, I feel like lately the trend has been, like, there's no really, like, makeup trend, you know what I mean? Like, people just do whatever they want, like, they don't, nobody cares if a, um, dark purple lip is usually for, like, winter or fall. People just wear it whenever they want now, and I really love that. So, I'm a little bit disappointed, because the way this is swatching, it's, like, very spotty but it's just super why would I swatch that right there awkward hand um <laughs> but it's just a super dark purple and you guys can't see I'll probably zoom you in um maybe but it's super swatchy so hopefully it will be different on the lips also I'll be super upset um and then lastly <clears throat> it's this lipstick in Mauve Me and Oh wow. And it's like a pretty- Sorry guys, my camera stopped recording. Like always. Big shocker. I know. But it's just this super pretty mauve color. Although, it's kind of too pink for my liking. But I'll go ahead and swatch that for you guys. I don't know if it's matte or not. It doesn't say. But it's just like a basic kind of mauve color. But it's super pink in my opinion. It's not like, when I think of mauve, I don't really think of this. I think of a deeper color, but, I mean, it's nice. It's, it would be nice for springtime, you know? So I'm excited to try those out. Um, <clears throat> sorry, guys, let me put these back real quick. <laughs> okay, so like I was um, saying, if you guys want me to do, like, a tutorial or anything using, like, all those products in one video, um, definitely let me know. Um, I would love to do that for you guys. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. <laughs> um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and like I just said, because I'm dumb, I like to repeat myself 500 times, I'll see you guys in my next video.